Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play UFO Extraterrestrials. We are uh, entering a dark, dark age because the aliens are getting quite technologically impressive. But, of course, we are getting quite technologically impressive as well. We now have EU rifles, which is quite nice. Lots of people are uh, hurt, not that many now. Of course, lots of them are rookies, which we will come to later. But now we're also making, um, yeah, new interceptor bases because, well, we just need more and more and more because the battleships are just way too much of a match for even all our interceptors. It's ridiculous. They they go down so quickly. It's ludicrous. So anyway, let's um, change the cannons over here. I thought I got some iron guns. Oh, thunderbolt launchers. There we go. Uh, Patriot as well. Oh, vehicle rearming. So I can't do anything else. Of course, that makes sense. <laughs> Not. Right, there's the AQ cannon and the fire hammer. Okay, still that. And shield. Right. Cruiser. Espionage. No, you're not gonna do an espionage? I don't think so. I'm gonna send everything I have, which is not much. Oh, what the hell was that? Was that that launcher? Ugh. Oh, apparently that's the AQ cannon. It's quite interesting, but look at this. This is our best fighter possible we have, right? This is the best and the the most amazing humanity has to offer. Okay, take that back. We it only had fire hammer launcher, but with a Q cannon, it was doing quite a good job. But still, this I don't know. It still took quite a long time to get the cruiser down. U grenade has been completed. The EU grenade is the ultimate refinement of plasma t explosive technology. Advances in plasma physics and theoretical modeling have allowed us to increase the density of the enclosed plasma beyond previous expectations. If the runaway plasma reaction inside of the grenade is detonated in a precise fashion, it creates a small but effective fusion reaction and explodes the entire world! Oh, no it doesn't. Which vastly increases the effectiveness of the plasma explosive. Well, that was more boring than I made it. While the EU grenade's fusion explosion isn't uh, very efficient, it is definitely more powerful than the previous generation of explosives. Unfortunately, we weren't able to scale this type of explosive for larger weapons. Oh. As the core becomes extremely unstable if made larger than a certain size. I thought uh, they couldn't make it smaller, but apparently... Yeah, they, they were talking about mini mi uh, miniaturization before. But they also can't make it bigger, apparently. Well, that sucks. Let's do the Inferno Rockets. And possibly the Advanced Mind Shield or something. I'm, I'm gonna be making other stuff, though. So we're still making more of these Thunderbolt launchers. Come on, two days for that. I need those Advanced Workshops. Iron Defense in Peloponnesia. Oh, they're gonna have Iron Defenses. But of course, now the UFOs are gonna go for others. Not Peloponnesia, which is ridiculous because I've just completed so much over here. Right, a hangar is completed. We're gonna have even more hangars. More! We want more! Okay. I might fill all this just with defenses, I'm not sure. Or maybe just have defense over here and over here. And have another hangar over here. But yeah, that, that's what I uh, have to do now. The Inferno rocket is the latest incendiary rocket available to the CAF. An iconic accelerator based on preacher technology allows a complex mixture of chemicals to burn hotter than anything known to man. This weapon expands rapidly, engulfing the surrounding area in intense flames. Use caution when employing this weapon, as it is especially easy to inflict unintended collateral damage. 175 versus 135 for the iron. Yeah, that's quite a lot. A Q rocket is also 135. That's... What? What? Wait a second. What's the difference between these two? Look at them. The only difference is price. Do you see any changes in these stats? I don't. What the hell? <laughs> is that... That must be a... Look at this. This is 120, 135. This should be like 150, and this 175. Oh, that's bizarre. Okay, never mind. Let's do the Inferno Grenade. And then we'll do the Stasis Grenade, which I'm guessing is like a stun grenade. Um, right, still making those bloody Thunderbolt launchers. 
Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. Okay, a Q cannon. Yeah, I need to make more. I need to transfer these as well. Let's go to Midyear. There you go. Send. Oh, there we go. Construction is complete over here. Excellent. More hangars. More! I want more! Right. Now we have the interceptor. Thunderbolt launcher is finished. Okay, so now we're going to make some anacondas. Two of them, in fact. Maybe even more. We'll see. That's pretty good. I might make more for each base so they have some, you know, proper defense. Hmm. Five days. I need more interceptors, though. That's a problem. Inferno grenade, a grenade. The Inferno Grenade is the latest incendiary grenade available to the CAF. Due to the complex chemical mixture based on preacher iron weaponry, the Inferno Grenade is nearly twice as effective as the Phosphorus Grenade. So, let's see. A Q Grenade is 140. Yeah, see this? Yeah, see these uh, go up in damage. Okay. So, that's a bit weird. Oh, well. Stasis Grenade. Let's do that. Oh, bloom. I have to say, despite all the shortcomings, of which, let's face it, there are many of in this game, it's quite uh, it's quite complex in the tech tree and everything. I'm still wondering what that thi What the hell? The Stasis Grenade is the next generation of grenade carried by the aliens. This weapon is several generations further along than our existing technology. 180! That's better than the Inferno. It's probably not... I don't know. Interestingly enough, the stasis grenade does not even contain an explosive. Instead, it contains an avonium-fueled stasis field. This field is wrapped around a miniaturized plasma-enriched thermonuclear explosion at the point of detonation. How can an explosion be at the point of detonation? Isn't an explosion just the detonation? It's not at the point where it's about to detonate. <laughs> when the grenade is triggered, the timer starts counting down until the stasis field collapses. Upon collapse, the frozen explosion realigns with our time space ugh, and completes unleashing small-scale fusion bomb. Without an A. Until we saw this grenade in action, we never even dreamed such a weapon was possible. That kind of looks cool, though, I have to say. Stasis rocket. Proximity stasis grenade. Well... Sure is a lot of stuff. Let's do the stasis rocket, because I want some rocket launcher wielding guys. Probably the rookies would benefit the most from that. Okay, let's uh, give me a Q defenses. More! Okay, that's good. Ah, another hangar then. <laughs> stasis rocket has been completed. The stasis rocket contains a stasis warhead adapted to our missile launchers. The warhead contains an avonium-fueled stasis field that contains a fusion bomb at the point of detonation. While our frozen fusion explosion is not as elegant as the one created by the aliens in the stasis grenade, it does the trick just as well. The stasis rocket explodes with tremendous force, much like the stasis grenade. Take care when firing this weapon, as it has the potential to inflict massive collateral damage. 195 versus the... Um... Where's the stasis grenade? 180, that's a bit... Yeah. I mean, the grenade is almost as good as the rocket. And the rocket is really heavy and you have to have the lo rocket launcher and everything. Oh well. Proximity, that's uh, quite nice actually. You know, just dot... Just wait at the uh, hangar of the base you're defending and place proximity grenades outside. That could be quite amusing. Ah. Construction of another hangar is complete. The, um, those things are about to be complete. The advanced workshops, so that's good. And more hangers. More! These are all gonna be copies of each other. Using the latest in explosive technology and uh, a, pl a pling, it's to proximity grenades, <laughs> our scientists have devised the ultimate device in passive defense. The most apparent, uh, without two Ps, improvement, and by far the most useful, is drastically increased damage from the explosion. 200 damage, very nice. Um, due to stasis grenade technology as a base, second major advantage is the enhanced detection system. Multiple visual sensors placed around the device analyze any moving target and comp uh, compares the data to an onboard database. Any human or CAF vehicle can pass unharmed, but an alien unit will trigger the release of a suspended nuclear explosion. No unit might pass by the device without being scanned. <laughs> you shall be scanned. 
die. <laughs> That's exactly how the grenade works. Right, how's the uh, anacondas coming along? They're coming along. Scout! Very few UFOs, I have to say, which uh, I'm not actually against, because they're horrible to take down. That was quite quick. <laughs> Anaconda, there we go. Alright, lots of rockets. I guess I could do the stasis rockets, but first I want more interceptors. That's a lot of stuff we have now. Right, night wolves, which are the best we can do, unfortunately, even though they're shit. And I can only make one at a time, which is quite... Uh, Annoying, but oh well. I could get this one to another place. Surgery in the main base is complete. Excellent. Workshop is complete. Very nice. Which means even more technicians. Oh yeah, the small workshop was complete. Production of Nightwolf is finished. So let's uh, transfer. Which Nightwolf? I don't know. Um, Peloponnesia. I don't know. Which one is not... Oh, yeah. Laser cannon. Brilliant. That's gonna be, uh, good. Oh, my God. Well, we need more stuff for them. Let's, uh, make more Q cannons. I don't know how many we need. I'm just gonna make six for now. We're gonna have lots of technicians ready. Nine days. It takes forever. Advanced mind shield has been completed. Lots of stuff. Whereas the first generation mind shields worked on basis of passive absorption, the new generation of mind shields works on a principle of active protection. The active protection consists of generating very high amplitude, reversed polarity, <laughs> electromagnetic impulses to counteract alien psionic impulses. Ideally, the generator would uh, generate uh, reversed polarity impulses <laughs> as soon as the alien brain emits the psionic attack impulse. However, there is some reactionary lag as the shield has to identify, interpret, and respond to the impulse. So it might happen that alien impulse is not eliminated in time. In this case, the attack can be successful in stunning the subject. Psionic ability add a whole new dimension to the aliens as, a da as dangerous opponents. Yes, we've known that for a while now. Make sure that all soldiers have a helmet in their combat loadout in the case of a psionic attack. So, um, you know, psionic defense 40 versus 20 for this. Yeah, not bad. Um, yeah, I like the reversed polarity. It's just, you know, inverted phase, really. It's like a balanced audio cable, for example. Alright, let's see, Vipan Commander. So that's the one thing we can do now. Oh my god, look at the... Wait, ion defenses are crap. I need a Q defense. <laughs> oh well, doesn't matter, I'll make more. I'll make more! Right. Energy crisis. What? What? Oh, that was from the alien commander. The alien mothership does not have sufficient energy for further space flight. The ship is currently resting in a stable position at Lagrange Point. Oh, Lagrange? Cool. Oh, that's all. Providing a harbor for alien space cruisers, battleships, and other vessels. We can say with certainty that further uh, movement is impossible without refueling. Alien scouts have been earnestly searching nearby planets for a source of the crystal of Onium, and their search has recently met success. These scouts rapidly uncovered the planet Esperanza not long after the attack on planet Earth. This planet is rich in many minerals, including Avonium, the only possible local source of fuel. So they're basically... Uh, Alien mothership avonium storage, zero percent almost. So they're basically, um, you know, oh my god, I put my foot down and now we're out of fuel. There's another weapon commander. How many commanders do you need? Holy crap, tell us some more than just this. <laughs> All right, let's go. Construction of hangar, excellent. Excellent! Oh, another hangar. There we go. Excellent. A Q. A Q. A Q takes forever. 35 days. Right, well, let's see. We're still making the A Q cannons. So we can actually put some on these. We have to make more shields as well. Thermos. Alright, that's alright. Thermos, another hangar. Why can't it complete both of the hangars? It's bizarre. There we go. A Q. So now, I'm going to transfer some of the Q cannons. I don't know where. Oh, I only have one. Let's have one Thunderbolt there. I'm just doing this blind. 
I don't know where they actually need them. There. I mean, I could actually just, uh, you know, equip the fighters here. There we go. The main reason for the alien raids on Esperanza are to pillage its mineral deposits. We know that now, especially its avonium, which they use as an energy source for their ship. The avonium storage containers of the alien mothership have been empty for a long time, but they are slowly beginning to be filled with Esperanza's avonium. Not unlike bees, the aliens have been diligently gathering avonium from Esperanza's mines and transporting the yield to their hive. The mothership. As soon as this huge space cruiser has received enough energy to resume flight, Esperanza will become its first destination and will be doomed. Why? They will just... they can just fly on. In spite of our best efforts, we will never be able to fully eliminate alien activities on our planet. Their technology surpasses ours and they will always find a way to avoid our sensors, to mine outside our surveillance, and to convey the yield to their mothership. It seems, therefore, that prevention of alien entry to the planet is not the answer, and that the only way to save our world from impending invasion is by destroying the mothership, while it still remains suspended in Earth's vicinity at a large Lagrange... Uh, not large, but at a Lagrange point. Time is against us. So do we need that big ship to fly to this mothership? Is that it? And is this going to fill, uh, fill up over time? So there's a limited amount of time we have or something. I don't know. I have two advanced laboratories. I'm going to keep them for now, I think. Advanced workshop. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at this. 80 technicians now. Right, transfer of items is complete. Thunderbolt launcher. There we go. And this one already has it. Laser shield. No iron shields. Over here we already have the thunderbolt launcher. Over here we have no interceptors. And over here we have an interceptors with the thunderbolt. So that's alright. That is alright. Battle cruiser of onion mining and abductions. Alright. We're gonna get the battle cruiser first. Where is it? There it is. Everyone on this thing. Go. Battle cruiser of onion mining and another one. Right, I want that one first though. Missing everything. Look at this, come on. Oh, this thing is go back. Retaliation. Brilliant. There we go. And of course it's going for the main base. We could shoot at it, but it's not gonna do anything. Yeah, you go right back home, because you're already about to be destroyed. And you too, because you're gonna be next. What? Oh, you're not- No! You bastard. I thought he was from Illyria. The aliens are attacking the main base. Yes, I know. Well, we do have a surprise for them now. We have these things as well. And they can be uh, renamed, which is good. Right. Uh, we have stasis grenades now as well. Hmm. Too heavy, though. Yeah, that's uh, a lot of stuff now we have. Okay, Furious George is gonna furiously uh, defend our base. There we go. Felix is gonna fe Oh, you're already overloaded. Never mind. The Omni Beast. Can I have a grenade as well? Actually, you can have two grenades. Third loads. You're gonna be overloaded. Yeah. Only slightly. Yeah, it only takes one AP away for you, so that's not too bad. We're gonna name these guys. Um, you can have a grenade. Oh, wait. You guys need the EU rifles as well. Oops. There we go. Scott Nelson. Click, 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 click. Oh my god, your strength. Holy crap. Oh, that's good. That is good. Mr. El Ninja. Let's see how these EO rifles work, huh? That's gonna be interesting. Man, your, your guy's strength is through the roof now. It's pretty good. I might keep those stun things, though. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Uh, slightly overloaded. Not a huge thing. Brock Defino. We gotta rename him. Where's the rest of the... Rookies? What? What's going on? Uh, this is going to be... 
Let's see. Mocha. What is that? Mocha 1227. Welcome. Welcome. You're getting the same stuff as everyone. Why it still gives them grenades like this? I don't understand. We have so much better equipment. Uh, beekeeper only, unfortunately. That's not going to be enough for those things. You could be a grenadier, I guess. Of course, where's the mine shields? We don't have any. Hmm. It's not great. Well, so you're going to be a grenadier. Sort of. There. Uh, who else do we have? Yeah, where where are all the rookies? This is really bizarre. There are none. Man, these things. Not bad. Okay. I'm just going to name these, even though they're, the, they're, they're tanks. So uh, this is going to be... Alexandrinus. I'm doing this with one hand, so excuse me. Alexandrinus. I wrote that correctly. Yep. Alexandrinus. There we go. And this one is going to be named... Olira144. Is that right? I think it is. Yes, it is. There we go. All right. Let's start the mission. Everyone is ready. And I have to remember to uh, save first before I stop this video, because otherwise it's going to revert to a quick save. <laughs> <laughs> because you cannot unbind the quick load or quick save key. Oh, these are tiny. I thought they were pretty big. Ugh. Oh, well, that's all right with me. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.